Edutainment Studios welcomes you to preventing allergies, stopping symptoms before they start. This module is part three of a four-part series on preventing allergies. Allergies are an overreaction of the immune system to substances that generally do not affect other individuals. Allergic reactions range from merely bothersome to life-threatening. Some allergies are seasonal, like hay fever. Allergies have also been associated with chronic conditions like sinusitis and asthma. Allergies can generally not be prevented, but allergic reactions can be. Once a person knows they are allergic to a certain substance, they can avoid contact with the allergen by utilizing a number of different strategies, depending on the type of allergy one has. In this course, the objective is to help you understand how allergies are treated. You cannot cure allergies, but your doctor can help you develop a treatment plan to ease your symptoms. The best way to treat your allergies is to avoid what you're allergic to. When this is not enough or is not possible, your doctor may suggest one of two allergy treatments. First, there are medicines. These treat your symptoms to give you short-term relief of their symptoms. Medicine can be over-the-counter or prescription. You take some medicines daily and others only when you have symptoms. With any medicine, the symptoms will return when the medication is stopped. Common medicines include Antihistamines are usually pills but can be nasal sprays or eye drops. They block the effect of histamine in your body to ease symptoms like sneezing, runny nose, and itching. Nasal corticosteroids are nasal sprays that help keep the tissue in your nose from swelling so you feel less stuffy. To make sure the medicine works for you, it is important to use the nasal spray correctly. Ask your doctor to show you how. Decongestants are liquid, tablets, or nasal sprays. They narrow your blood vessels, which helps reduce stuffiness. If your doctor prescribes a nasal spray, he may recommend you only take it for a short period of time. Nasal ipratropium is a nasal spray that helps relieve a runny nose by keeping the glands in your nose from making too much fluid. Leukotriene inhibitors are pills that block leukotrienes, another type of chemical like histamine that your body releases that causes allergy symptoms. Steps to making nasal spray work correctly. 1. Clean your nose by using saline or saltwater nasal spray, which you can buy at a drugstore. 2. Hold your head normally or tuck your chin in slightly toward your body. 3. Use your finger to hold one nostril closed. While you spray the medicine in the other nostril, point the spray outward, away from the nostril you are holding closed. 4. Right after spraying, sniff slightly to pull the medicine farther into your nose. But do not sniff too hard. This will make the medicine drain down your throat. 5. Spit out any medicine that may have drained into your throat. It only works if it's in your nose. Another type of treatment is immunotherapy. This therapy changes the way your body reacts to an allergen over time to give you long-term relief. It can include allergy shots as well as tablets that treat grass and ragweed allergies. Immunotherapy works by slowly giving you tiny amounts of the allergen that causes your symptoms. Over a period of time, your body gets used to the allergen. This means that you no longer react to it and your symptoms decrease. Immunotherapy may relieve your allergy symptoms for good, or you may have to have it repeated throughout your life. You can have immunotherapy in one of two ways, allergy shots or allergy tablets. With allergy shots, you get a shot about one to two times a week at your doctor's office. Each shot contains more and more of the allergen until you reach your target dose, usually about three to six months. You then get a shot every two to four weeks for the next three to five years. The allergy tablets work like the allergy shots, but you put a tablet under your tongue instead, usually one a day. You take your first dose at your doctor's office, and then you take the tablets at home. Right now, allergy tablets are available to treat ragweed and some grass pollen allergies. Your doctor will probably recommend that you start taking the tablet a few months before allergy season begins. Make a plan with your doctor ahead of time so you know when to start taking them and for how long. To help your treatment succeed, you know how your treatment works and why it's important not to miss a dose. Fill your prescription and get your refills on time. Ask if your pharmacy has automatic refills or refill reminders. Learn everything you can about how and when to take it. Make sure to take every dose, taking it at the same time of day you do other activities, like when you eat breakfast or brush your teeth. Other helpful tools can be a pillbox, color-coded labels, keeping a tracker or diary, using sticky notes or setting reminders on your cell phone. Store it where you'll always see it, like on your nightstand. What keeps you from following your treatment plan? Feeling better. Not seeing any benefits? Having side effects. Not remembering. Cost too high? Too complicated.
Whether you miss your treatment every week or once in a while, tell your doctor. Be honest about why you're not following your treatment plan so your doctor can help you. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information. And remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part three of this four-part series on preventing allergies. And please join us for part four.